LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. All right, so we're going to show you how to put your key onto your keycap. So we're going to do the space bar, the uh, large key, which we're going to use an enter key for, and the regular size key, which we're going to use a J for. So starting with the J, uh, this is the area for it, and you want to look at the plastic pieces, the metal pieces that are within it. There's a large single hook in the top, uh, in the middle, and there's two smaller ones at the bottom corners. So these hinges um, have to click together to make one, and then you, uh, de depending on the position of the hooks here, you position the hinges accordingly. Now we're going to start by determining the position for the large piece, which is this, and you can see that at the top it has two small pins coming out from the corners and at the bottom it has two larger pins. Now that those small pins you want to place wherever the large hook is. If the large hook were to be at the bottom you would want to face those uh, small pins towards the bottom as well. In this case they're at the top so let's leave it like that with, along with the large hook. Now make sure not to put this entire piece upside down by uh, feeling the uh, vertical bar. If you feel it's one smooth piece from top to bottom, it faces away from the keyboard. If you feel it has a bump in the center, that faces and touches the keyboard. So that's the right position for this piece. Put it down in the right position. Get the next piece, which is this. And you can see this has two pins at the bottom. Those are going to grab onto the keycap. The metal, the pins that are in the middle are going to go into the holes that are in the middle of the large piece. And the top bar is going to go underneath the large hook, wherever it may be. In this case, it's at the top, so we're going to put that at the top also. And make sure not to put this piece upside down as well by feeling or carefully looking at the bottom bar. If it's one smooth piece, uh, it faces upward away from the keyboard. If you feel a gap or a thinning area in the center, that faces and touches the keyboard. So now you know the position for both pieces. We're going to put the small one over the large piece and put the bottom bar, I mean the top bar of the small piece underneath the top bar of the large piece. But at the same time, we're going to click that left pin into the left hole that's in the large piece. So it's uh, a bit tricky. It's going to take a few seconds for you to get it right. But once you have it in there, you want to hold it there so it doesn't come back out. Now we still have to insert this pin onto that hole. So holding uh, the pieces that are together tightly so they don't come out again, we're going to stretch the large piece away from the small piece in order for the pin to have enough space to go in there. Now both pins, uh, both hinges are one. We're going to put the uh, top bar of the small piece underneath the large hook. So go ahead and do that. Then you hold it in place. Now we're trying to get the uh, pins that are at the bottom to go around and underneath the uh, metal hooks that are at the bottom here. 
So we pretty much have to hold it in place so it doesn't come off from the top again and stretch the hinges or slide them downward in order for the pins to actually go around the hook. Finally, you get your key cap, you put it in the center and push down evenly on all four corners. That's it for the lar the regular size keys. And let's see. A, you know, the the hinges for the large piece are assembled the same way as the regular ones, only on a bigger scale. So we're going to assume you already have the hinges in place. The only difference is the uh, actual keycap because at the back side it has this wire and that goes in the fittings that are at the very bottom of the keycap. If you turn it over this way, don't turn it over that way. So this is the right position. If you read enter, then you flip it over that way. Click the wire at the fittings that are at the very, very bottom. Now be careful because these fittings here and here look like they're at the very bottom, but they're not. Those are for the hinges. So once you have that wire in onto the three fittings that are at the bottom, flip your keycap over again and um, you want to open up the wire like this so this is the right position for it you open up the wire and you flip your key this way so you can see the wire now uh, the fitting to the very right and to the very left are for the wire so you want to insert the wire into those two fittings then just flip your keycap over onto the hinges and push down evenly on all sides of the keycap in order for it to click onto those hinges. So that's it for the large key. Now we're going on to the space bar, which has two hinges. And they, you know, with the first half of this video, you'll learn how to put those in. So we're going to assume you already have those in and determine the position for the keycap itself. You can see at the top here there is uh, a flat square cut at the top and at the bottom it's angled, it has an angle to it so that's how you know the position for it. Now don't flip it over this way to work on it, flip it over this way and you'll see the positions for the wires. At the very top you have to place the um, the small wire and then make sure to click it at the tips also here and here and along the whole top area then for the large metal wire that also clicks along the very bottom fittings on the key cap so it's all these over here none at the top because you want to open your wire like this and flip it over again now we're going to put the key cap on the right position over the keyboard but flip it over so you can see the wire same thing uh, this fitting and this fitting to the very left and right are for the wire so go ahead and slide those wires onto the fitting once those are in you just have to lay down your key cap and push down evenly on all sides so that it may click onto the hinges and that's it thank you for watching laptopkey.com your source for replacement keyboard keys notice when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside however have differences underneath the keys the differences include the hinges retainer clips and cup color to help you find the correct tutorial for your key we have created a searchable database at laptopkey.com Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.